2008, we had a terrible accident. We were traveling by car, I, my husband, and our younger son. A drunk driver appeared all of a sudden in front of us and hit us. It was a miracle that we are all alive. I felt an ardent desire in my soul to go on a walking pilgrimage to give thanks to Our Lady of Butzlav for this miracle. Butzlav, a small town in Belarus, is experiencing a revival of faith that is developing around the painting of Our Lady of Butzlav, patroness of Belarus. The image was offered by Pope Clement VIII in 1598 to the governor of Minsk, John Patz, when he converted from Calvinism to Catholicism. Later, the image was taken to the church of Butzlav, where it became famous for its miracles. For decades, despite their great desire, Catholics were not allowed to go on pilgrimages to Butzlav. Churches were closed or converted into culture houses or pubs. The smallest act of faith was suppressed and met with ongoing acts of repression and retribution. The pilgrimage movement in Belarus started in the 1990s. At the time, only 30 to 40 people participated in the pilgrimage. Many years of communist terror and relentless attacks on the church led to atheism penetrating deeply in Belarusian society and the disappearance of religious life. We often meet people who are surprised at where we are going and why, and sometimes they completely didn't know who we are. That happens especially when we pass through Minsk, because there are a lot of people there who didn't even know what good love is all about. The pilgrims, above all, carry in their hearts a deep faith in the power of prayer, the power of sacrifice and the suffering and hardship of the pilgrimage. Between dozens of rosaries prayed, they read out their intentions. Often they carry the burden of their faith and the choices it leads them to not being understood by their loved ones. Others bring forward the need for holy vocations, the unity of the family, and a better future for their homeland. Sometimes people ask me, where are you planning your holidays? They're interested. They ask where I go, how I spend my free time. It is not that anyone is really interested, but they just want to laugh at me. Because in our society, which is atheist, unfortunately few are interested in the matters of Christian faith, Catholicism or Orthodoxy. You can go on a pilgrimage in many different ways. Some go on foot, others riding a coach. It is even possible on a bicycle. Every pilgrimage is a witness of faith. And if someone meets a believer who is also sporty, then somehow the faith is better adopted. When you go on a pilgrimage or you participate in it, you want to do something for others and not just go. And I thought, what should I do? I can sing some of our various orthodox chants. Well, I can play some melodies on the bells, so the youth could listen to our orthodox church bells. When I see their happy faces, I think that they feel great pleasure. We differ slightly from one another, but it doesn't bother us or hinder us from being friends.
In the early stages of the pilgrimage, on the soil of the former Soviet Union so impregnated with state atheism, the pilgrims do not arouse much interest among the locals. As the pilgrims draw closer to the shrine on the polish belarus border, however, this changes radically. Their appearance in Catholic villages provokes great celebration and joy among its inhabitants. We have already been waiting for a month. We are trying very hard, everybody according to their possibilities. We treat them with whatever we can. We made pastries, some candies. Some people buy, others bake. That's all. Thanks be to God that we can welcome them. We are getting old. At first there were few people, but now there's more and more, thank God. We wait for them, we listen if they are coming. Someone says they can hear them singing. Here they are, here they are. People always try to take good care of us. In the last villages we passed, there were even some snacks. People are very happy that we come to them, and they welcome us as well as possible. They always ask us to pray for them, for their families, for their children, relatives. Praise be to God! Is it possible to stay the night at your house? Yes, you can. I welcome the pilgrims since the very beginning. The same pilgrims come to me every year. We became friends. They arrive, they take off their backpacks, tend to their wounds, then we sing, we pray, they go to sleep late. After five days of walking with hardships and joy, the pilgrims arrive in the small village where the miraculous image of Our Lady of Butzlaff is kept. This time of pilgrimage was offered to the Mother of God. That's why we came here. This place is truly extraordinary, wonderful. And maybe we will not see anybody healed of their limp today, or any healing of the body at all. But today, thousands of people have received healing of the soul. Our land needs us to walk on it, to pray for our loved ones, for our families, for our children, that they also may see in their hearts that the most important thing in life is to go through it together with God. Traditionally at midnight, the pilgrims take part in the procession with the sacred image of Our Lady of Butzlaff. After decades of militant atheism and enslavement, hundreds of thousands of people in prayer are a visible sign of the reviving faith of the Catholic Church in Belarus. Our grandmother, not only on holidays, but also on working days, tried to take us to the church in Butzlaff, and we would spend our holidays there every summer. And so she got us used to God, in a way. Our grandmother implanted all this goodness and love for God in us, which we now carry in our hearts, in our souls. Each time we come to Butzlav, we always pray for our grandmother and grandfather, who gave to us this small part of Butzlav. 